Hello and welcome to the maiden edition of Gavel Teach the Law on Screen. Today I'll be telling you a very short but interesting story about Shadi. Shadi bought a wig from an IG vendor. At the point of buying that wig, the picture Shadi saw on the, the IG vendor's page was a, um, a color 3 30 inch bone straight wig. The IG vendor described it as lush, soft, bone straight, no shedding, what you see is what you get. Shadi made inquiries and paid 200,000 Naira for the price of a bone straight wig. Three days later, the wig was delivered to Shadi. Alas, what she ordered wasn't what she got. The wig wasn't bone straight, it wasn't the color she wanted, it was nothing close to what she saw on the IG vendor's page. I know at some point you may have been in this circumstance or in this situation or you may have friends that have experienced this kind of situation. Now it becomes worse when Shadi made her reservations known to the vendor and the vendor said, didn't you see that I have no refund, no exchange on my bio? I can't refund your money and I cannot exchange the wig. Now what does Shadi do? Does the law provide for any you know right or remedy for Shadi in this instance i'll be outlining two to three rights that Shadi had where goods or where a commodity has not been examined a buyer is not deemed to have actually accepted the products so in this case like Shadi, she has the right to reject the goods and ask for a refund of her money under the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Act and under the, the Sale of Goods Act. In, in this situation where the vendor, you know, is saying, oh, she cannot refund the money, she cannot exchange, what happens? Are there also any remedies, you know, that applies to Shade under the Nigerian law that can ensure that, you know, she gets her money or she gets, you know, full value for the product that she has paid for? Join me next week as we explore the remedies that Shadi is entitled to where the vendor decides to do I get coconut head and do the year one. Bye.